Understanding the phrase, cursed. Hello learners, today, we'll dive deep into the English phrase, cursed. By the end of this video, you'll understand its various meanings and how to use it in your conversations. The word, cursed, originates from the word, curse, which traditionally means a pronouncement or wish of harm or misfortune on someone or something. When something is described as, cursed, it means that it is believed to be under a curse. For instance, ancient treasures that bring bad luck to whoever possesses them might be described as, cursed. The term, cursed, isn't just limited to its traditional or supernatural connotation. It has found its way into everyday language in various expressions. 1. Cursed image. This term often refers to images that are eerie, unsettling, or just plain weird. You might hear someone say, that's a cursed image, when they see a photo that's a bit off-putting. 2. Feeling cursed. This phrase can express a feeling of consistent bad luck or misfortune. For example, someone who always seems to spill their coffee might jokingly say, I'm cursed. Cursed has a rich history rooted in mythology, folklore, and religion across various cultures. From cursed objects in ancient Egyptian tales to tales of cursed ships or places in European legends, the concept is universally intriguing. It's essential to approach the term with sensitivity and respect, as its significance may vary among different cultures and beliefs. Knowing synonyms can help in understanding and expanding your vocabulary. Here are some synonyms and related words for cursed, jinxed, often used to describe something that brings bad luck, hexed, Similar to cursed, implying a spell or enchantment has been cast. Doomed, indicates impending disaster or fate. Blighted, a situation or thing that's damaged or spoiled. Understanding the phrase, cursed, can add a layer of depth to your conversations. Whether you're talking about ancient legends or just sharing a strange photo with friends. We hope this video has shed light on its meanings and uses. Keep learning, and until next time, happy speaking!